Hello, so Solar Loon here, and I'm coming at you with another tutorial for Sunbox. Um, this is Sunbox version 1.7.4 that I'm using currently. Uh, I think there was a bug fix version added, or um, not radio released a bug fix version after this one, but this is uh, the one I have installed right now, uh, the one from January 23rd. So uh, in this version, Night Radio added a couple of new modules, some very nice modules. Um, the sound to control module and the multi control module. Um, they're both really useful. The sound to control module is like really nice, and the multi control module is also uh, equally useful. So, the multi control module is basically useful for controlling multiple parameters across multiple modules of, um, well, multiple, pra multiple parameters across multiple modules. So, for example, you can use a single value change to change the volume of one module and the panning of another and the duty cycle of another and the you know um, whatever the filter of another and etc etc and you can really uh, toy around with it uh, let's go ahead and try this out so I have a, a square wave and a triangle wave I'm just doing a simple little pattern here Cool. So what we're going to do is basically basically set this up to alter a couple of values here. So I connected the multi synth, I'm sorry, the multi control module to the different uh, modules here, the square and the triangle. And you see that they showed up here, the generator, which is the triangle wave. Um, let me actually name it that. <laughs> as well as the square has also shown up here. So what we're going to do is basically uh, key in what we want to happen. So we're going to use the second instrument, and we're going to use uh, the first value of the second instrument, so the multi-control module. We're going to change the value. So that's 0, 1. So 0, 2 is the instrument, 0, 1 is the value, and then you, know, you can ignore the, the next two zeros, and then you can actually uh, alter the numbers. So you can just you know do this as usual, where you um, set up you know your numbers and, and you know, get them to work as, as you wish. So this is going to go basically up, then down, and then uh, up drastically, and then back down again. So it's going from 1,000 uh, to uh, 4,000, back to 1,000, to 7,000, and then back to 1,000. Excuse me. Okay, now you might be wondering how this corresponds. Well, the value here is what's going to be fed into the sense connected to it. Um, it only goes up, the numbers we can actually edit goes up to 8,000. Um, so it goes from 0 to 8,000 for us, even though the value here is 32,768. Um, I guess that's actually, that, that's probably for more control and more, um, you know, granularity. Well, actually, yeah, I guess it's just another way of looking at it. It's just hex hexadecimal 8,000 is equal to 32,768. Anyway, anyway, let's go back. Now we see under each... Um, oh, that's cool. That's what, Yeah, okay, cool. We see under each um, module, we have a few settings here. We have the controller that we want it to influence. We have the minimum and maximum value as well. So we can say, okay, we want it to influence um, you know the upper half of the volume of the square module or you know to pan left to center for for the um, triangle module or however we want to do it so let's make it so that the triangle module it changes the volume so we set the controller one for the triangle module and it goes from zero to max So you can hear the triangle module going in and out like that. Now, let's say we want to also use the same pattern, so to speak, to influence the square wave and its uh, duty cycle. So let's do that. We're going to change the controller to duty cycle there, controller 10. But let's say we want it to be um, reversed. Well, we can set the minimum value high and the maximum value low. So basically, um, it's going to be negative in a sense. 
whenever it's at zero, it's going to be at full on right or full on um, 8,000 here. And whenever it's at 8,000, it's going to be at zero here and so forth and so on. So yeah, let's try that. So you can see the value going up and down for the multi-control module as we've set it. And we can see the corresponding properties of each module also changing. Yeah. So this is a nice little tool. Um, it allows you to, you know, really uh, have some control and have some, uh, you know, uh, uh, more abilities that you can, you know, use to edit and kind of shape your sound using, uh, you know, Sunbox with these nice little modules that allow you to uh, control things to a point and say, okay, I want this to influence that, or I want this to influence these things. And especially if you were to combine this with the sound control module, so you can have like, you know, um, I mean, you can just do so much. It's almost like a, you know, a lot of people have requests, I guess you could say, and I had a request to basically add envelopes to each uh, module. So you could say uh, re attack, release, sustain, as well as decay. Um, or even better, to have a kind of waveform that you can shape. Um, the sound control module allows you to do a lot of that kind of stuff, or I, I think it does because you can feed in, you know, basically a shape of your wish, wishes, and then you can go ahead and, and use that to uh, alter your sound. So it's definitely something to consider, definitely something to uh, mess around with. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar Loon, and uh, this has been a quick, quickie little tutorial on using the multi-control module. Hopefully, you'll find it useful, and you'll be able to use it in your Sunbox songs as well. Thanks. See ya.